So we got our supplies and we are beginning to make our chicken tractors. Okay, we start with two two by four by eight sections. And then we take another two by four by eight and we cut it in half to make a four foot section for each end. And then we just screw them together. Okay, next we cut two foot sections and screwed them on. And now we're going to add the top frame over that. Okay, so we decided to do a minor revision here, and we are moving those two, the two front legs, to the outside. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we want to put a door that opens up on top, and um, they were in the way on the inside. If you can't tell, we're just kind of making this up as we go. Both he and I have ideas on how we wanted to design, but we both have it in our heads, and so we are kind of combining it, or both of our ideas, kind of as we go along. So it may end up turning out to be quite interesting. Next, we're adding a center support board. Now we left these boards to the inside because this end will be covered with the tin and it will work out better to leave them on the inside. I broke off the bit here so now I, I can't even use it. And part of it broke off in the screw, but I have a fix for that. Ta-da! Good deal. Basically what the deal is, is he put that one a little bit too close to the edge. And we need it up just a little bit because we are going to put PVC pipe along the bottom so it's easier to scoot in the grass. Now we'll see how easy this is. Put a little notch in the PVC pipe so that way it fit over the board okay.
morning. There, bend it up, cut it off this way. Pretty slick that way. Yep, that's a lot easier than the first time. Yeah, well, live and learn. Yeah, and we'll just go ahead and finish cutting this off right here. That. Does it move easy? Not bad for me. At least on the dirt, anyway. Yeah. We'll have to see what it's like on the grass. Now comes the fun part of trying to build the door, your door there. Yep. How big did you say you wanted it? See, because the other part is, is you're going to have to figure it's going to be inside. Mm -hmm. See, and here's two foot. So our next dilemma is how big do we want to make the door? At first we were thinking about making it um, two foot. Then I got to thinking that might be a little bit small, especially if we're wanting to get in there and get the chicks out or something like that. And so the other option that we were thinking was to make this whole entire half of it the door and then cover this half with tin. For the door we're cutting two boards four foot long and then two boards 42 inches to fit this way. I had a brilliant idea. This is what piece, the little section that was left after cutting the, to make all the door here. So I thought well I'll just cut two 45's on it and what I'm going to do with it is mount it under here like that, and now the door, or the, yeah, the top gate will have somewhere to set on. Door. And that was just the leftover piece? Just the leftover piece from cutting the one two by four. So it worked out great on that place. That way I have less pieces of wood I have to throw away. Okay, so now we have it turned upside down and we're installing the little, what do you want to call it, door block, door holder. Well, I thought we were. That's not good. Yeah. Split out. I've got an old piece. I've got one off of this one. Maybe I can do the same with that one. Let's start here, maybe. Take this one out. That's really not that big of a deal that that did that. Yeah, we're not going to get that perfect. There we are. There we go. Boy, that piece just wants to split all the pieces. I can go ahead and take that out because that part doesn't matter. It needs to be on the inside. Now it's time to assemble the door. Well, the door's already assembled. Or attach it. How about that? That helps if we turn it the right way. Oh, it's going to be a tight fit. That's the way I want it. Now it's time to put the latches on. It's hinges. Or hinges. These screws are a little overkill, but, oh uh, well. I'd much rather have them hold and not come loose.
Next we're getting some tin to cover it. And we're just using the tin off of the old building back there. We thought chloroplast might be an interesting thing to use to cover it too and it would make it a lot lighter. We're using card or we're using some chloroplast right here to cover our hog shelter with and it's basically a plastic but it's kind of like a cardboard and um it's lightweight and pretty durable and i think it would make an excellent cover for over a chicken tractor we don't have any more of it right now otherwise we'd probably use it That's perfect. Look at that. <laughs> We're adding a board right here so that way we can screw the tin to it. We should have done this earlier, but we didn't think of it till now. Is it going to come up short? I hope not, but it might. Yeah, we're going to be a little short. Now we're cutting a small section of the tin off so that way it will line up right with that board right over there. Nobody tell the wife I cut it too long. Okay, we'll keep that a secret. I'm sure she won't really care. It's not too picky just as long as you get, get this made. As you can see, we raised this one up a little bit, so that way when we push it over, it will mask up on the other side. close fit too whether or not it actually touches mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a board underneath so we can do it okay so it's kind of a cheat but it still works yes it does it's like that Looks good to me. Now you need the drill and some screws. Yep. There's the drill. 
needs a battery in it too. Yeah, we'll get that here in a second. And then the screws. Uh, not these screws. I need the long screws. Oh, the long in the screws. box up there by the fence. Okay. There's the battery. And here's the screws. You know, this would be a good place to hide. Oh, good place to hide from the wife when she's on the warpath or wants me to do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Next we cut a piece of tin to fit the back end and we're going to screw that into place and then we will be done with the tin. Next, we're getting ready to put the wire on. Before we put the wire on, we decided to go ahead and put a board across the door so that way we'd have something to staple the wire onto. Like I said before, we are just building this as we go, so we are making decisions as we go along. Well, we had no definite plans when we started this thing anyway. We just had ideas in our heads. Yep, that is true. I think it's turned out pretty well. Maybe we need to combine our ideas more often like this. Well, we'd both be in a world of hurt. <laughs> okay, now it is time for the wire. Now what we're doing is we're putting these little clips on the fence to hold the two pieces together. And there is a special tool for these things, but I, I don't, couldn't see buying the darn thing when I got too many pairs or enough sets of pliers around here. Oops, I dropped one. If we'll finish this up yet tonight or not. <laughs> yeah, we got a big yard light. There. Okay, so we finally have our chicken tractor almost complete. It's getting dark and it's really cold, so we are going to call it a day. We put a handle on it so we can lift the lid. And then the only thing we still have to do is trim this extra wire off and staple it down. 
we ran out of staples and the kids are in town so they're going to bring some home and then we'll finish that up tomorrow and then we'll get the chicks in it and see how they like it.